Adding to the US-China's already hostile bilateral relations, Beijing has once again resorted to security breach as Chinese hackers breached the email account of US Ambassador to China, Nicholas Burns. They also hacked the email account of the Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia, Daniel Crittenbrink, who recently traveled to China along with Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. In addition to this, the hackers also gained access to Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo's email account. According to the U.S. authorities, China is the country's cyberspace adversary with the most advanced capabilities, which has frequently been a source of hostility between the two countries in recent years. Even the Federal Bureau of Investigation has revealed that Beijing's hacking program is larger than all other governments combined. The Biden administration is also of the view that Chinese hacking efforts helped Beijing to gain knowledge about U.S. thinking prior to Blinken's crucial visit to China in June. Notably, according to a State Department official, Blinken had raised the hacking issue with the top Chinese diplomat Wang Yi. Recently, Microsoft's assessment revealed that China-based hackers were behind China's constant cyber crimes. However, rejecting the claims, the Chinese Foreign Ministry stated that Washington was conducting its own hacking operations. Microsoft had stated that hacking began in mid-May, when the China-based hackers used a stolen sign-in key to burrow their way into the email accounts. Notably, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet L. Yellen visited China, where she noted that her visit might have helped in stabilizing the two nations' rocky relationship. However, neither of the two sides made any official announcements of developments and agreements hinting that Yellen's visit wasn't fruitful. Now, the latest security breach proves that the US-China relations won't be stabilizing anytime soon.